And we're back on. Yay. More videos for all of us to enjoy. Mostly me, though, I think, but that's fine. That's what it's all about. It's all about me making videos. Um, just to catalog my experience with my sick addiction to miniatures. Now, what to do, what to do. Ah, there it is. Today, guys, we're going to look at some of the fun add-ons for Bones for the Kickstarter. Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, we're just opening them. As you can see, all the things I've shown you have been unopened prior to the video because, well, that's just how I roll. By the way, guys, I'm experimenting with oil paints. Yeah. And in case you see this, and if you're paying attention to the background, I'm doing a little experimentation. Um, I, I like the coverage. I don't know if I care for the uh, dry time, but I'm trying to find ways to cheat on that. Okay. If you guys know any, uh, share them in the, uh, the comment section. This is the Thunderfoot Behemoth. Thunderfoot the Behemoth. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I do have the Oppositions model. I do not have it handy. It's in a box downstairs with all the rest of them. And guess what? It doesn't matter because I wouldn't pull it out anyway because this is all about the... The Reaper Bones, okay? Now, this is in the original Bones material from what I can tell. See how easy it's moving there? Yeah, that's definitely not Bones Black. All right. He's cool, though. Really sweet. I like it. And unlike the competitions model, um, there's not a giant freaking seam line where the two pieces butt together right here at the abdomen which is a very bizarre spot it's up here on the neck right i mean it's still there it's still gonna need putty but it's not nearly as noticeable and it's not yeah i don't have to sculpt anything there i have to sculpt stuff there i don't know what they were thinking with that anyway moving right along Now, this is a big old... I didn't realize it was as big as it is, honestly. Yeah. This is a big old hunk of dinosaur here. Yep. Here we go. Okay. This is the Black Tooth Terror. The Black Tooth Terror. Not to be confused with the Sawtooth Terror. Oh, no, no, no. That would be a copyright infringement. This is a Black Tooth Terror. And it comes in... The other one came in two pieces. This one comes in... Well, it's got a tongue. Isn't that nifty? Three pieces. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and use our handy dandy razor knife to cut this loose you know i actually guys shh, just swing you at me i don't even cut these usually usually i just twist it till it pops off and then i hit it with a file yeah and the only time that i don't do that is like these etten heads yeah where you would get a divot but like this piece here popped off um, the arm popped off, all popped off. No cutting tool necessary. You just twist it. Here, I'll show you. Actually, this is probably a pretty good spot to do. Boom. Now, give it a little file low. Get rid of any unseemly marks. Oh, yeah. And it'll look fine. And if it doesn't, I got putty a plenty. I don't worry about it. I've been putting these together at work, so, you know, less I have to bring to work, the better. I know I'm one of them cool cats who's got a job where I can do stuff like that. Anyway, this is also in the original Bones material, if you couldn't tell. Um, see all that tongue wiggling? Yeah. 
Anyway, let's do this. It's going to be awesome. I like it. I think it's a cool model. I I don't know how bad our gap's going to be here. When we glue this, I might have to boil that or use my ceramic heater. It might not be too bad. It looked a lot worse on the, uh, the photos they showed on the... Uh, On the official updates, it, it looked pretty rough there. Okay, now the separate tongue, isn't that nice? Yeah. And we got some good details on this head. I mean, and again, I should could show you the competitor. Your seam line on the competitors right here. It is a smaller model, guys. The competitor. It's not as big as this. This is its big brother. So that's cool. <laughs> All right. Well, it held together for a second or two. We take what we can get in this biz. Oh. All right. There we go. Sharp to tear. And now we go. Well, looking like we got a lot of sprues here, too. This is Agramon. Agramon is a not pit thing. Yeah. Lord of Hell. I think it is. Duke of Hell. Duke of Hell. There we go. Man, it shows you how many months I sat and waited for this to come. I sat and read, you know, uh, obsessed about it, I guess, because I, <laughs> I know what every, everything's called. All right. Now, that base looks a little small for the model. This is in regular bones. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of bits to this, so we're probably... Uh, well, I could probably dry fit this. Yeah. There's nothing hooking to anything where I'd, I'd lose any. Maybe right here I'd have to cut that. I doubt it, though. Let's see. Let's see what we can get, guys. There's a lot of options on this model. Yeah, there's a lot of different arms, different heads. You can make this thing. And, you know, a lot of people, they use a magnet, I, I'm told. I've never done it, but. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ready, guys? Oh, yeah, look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It busts right off. You don't even have to cut it. Look at that. I know. Someone's probably screaming, that's sacrilege. It's sacrilege. What are you doing? What is wrong with you, dude? You're a crazy man. And they're probably right. All right, look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um... The hell are you at? Ah, there you are. You're tiny too. You ain't even big. Let's get the small file. What a beautiful little breakaway there. Yeah, there it is. We're good. All right. Okay. Now, um, here's the body. Here's the leg. Oh, we got to insert tab A into slot B. Tab A is now in slot B. Uh, where's our base? We just got that. Now, he's in an awkward position, isn't he? Uh, how do you insert tab A in the slide B? There we go. Found it. And now tab A is in slot B. I got some blue tech. I might have to break it out for this one. Let's just, yeah, we'll... Uh, Let's do this. We'll get the body first, and then we'll play around with that. <laughs> He's in a nice action pose, isn't he? Let's get this wing. Yeah, we want the wings. Here, look at this. Look at this. It's the easiest thing in the world, right? Just make sure you break it kind of even. You don't want it pulling to one side or the other. And then, boom. There it is. I know. it's. I'm a wild man. I'm a wild man. This one, it don't even matter because it's... It's going to be covered. I don't even care about that one. All right. So let's, let's file these off. Huh? Let's, see, let's get a close up. Look at that little nubbin of love. Can we get it? Can we get a good shot? There it is. See that little nubbin? It's nothing. Easiest thing in the world to get rid of. If you even have to, honestly, a lot of times you don't even have to on these. 
where they insert the key joints or whatever they're called. You don't even have to file it off unless it's super long. Now, this is where we get a little more intense, right? Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? We'll get the angle. You can barely see it. I can barely see it. I'm right here without uh, having to mess with the camera. And there it is. It's gone. Easiest fix in the world. It never happened. Yeah. I just tug that thing off. No snips. By the way, I have the snips right over there. <laughs> Am I a lazy bum, guys? Tell me in the comments if I'm a lazy, crazy bum. All right. There we go. Agramon in all his glory. Minus a wing. Doing agramon stuff. Now, that's a cool model. But, wait, there's more. See this? It's all on a sprue. There's two sprues like this in it. And so you got choices, lots of choices. We don't want to get too far into the, the weeds here. So let's just, let's say, let's go like this. Okay. All right. Open hand. And then on this side, you got a nub of love ready for an arm. So let's find the arm. Uh, fuck my man. Ah, no. Okay, I got a male in, so I need a female arm. Female, there it is. So hold that thought. Oh, we're going to do it again, guys. Look at that. Oh, what is wrong with me? I'm a crazy, crazy guy. I'm a crazed man. Doing it, look, it's not supposed to be done. All right, hit that with the little. And that's kind of in a funky spot, honestly. I need a smaller file. But that's okay, we got her. Could have been in a better spot, though, I gotta say. A lot of details there that could have been jacked up. Okay, anyway. Let's plug and play, boys and girls. All right. Now, well, this isn't Rock'em Sock'em Robots here. There we go. All right. There. He's got two empty hands. And now Agramon will have a head. And look, I'm not even going to file it. I'm crazy. Wow, man. Didn't even file it. Look at that, folks. There it is. Didn't even file it. I'm, a, I'm just out there. I'm a rebel without a clue. Okay, so this is your most basic Agramon setup. Take a look at it in all of its glory. Now, are there other setups? Absolutely. Like I said, people use magnets for this. Um, I won't have to play with that because this model might be worthy of, of such attention. So what you do in theory is you would go ahead... And you would you would glue this in because it's not you know optional. The hand, I don't know if the right hand's optional. I will have to look. I don't see any other or left hand rather. I don't see any other left hand options. That doesn't mean there isn't one though. There are three right hand options. Okay. See so what you would do is you would put a magnet in this slot and a magnet on each of these nubbins. And you would paint them all. The wings would be fixed because there's only one set of wings. 
the head, same thing. You're going to put a magnet in there, a magnet on the nubbins. And this is where we would actually file it since we're doing magnets. You paint them. Okay. You paint it all at the same time. That way you got the right colors. Okay. And then boom, you're going to have head one, head two, arm two. Look at that. That's got fireball. On it. And then here's some sort of sword. And then I believe there's another sword option in there. Maybe not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so there's the metal and the stone club kind of sword. Yeah, yeah. So you got four different arms here for this guy. So you can put magnets on all of them and have, uh, you know, all kinds of different options. Uh, that's all I got for this video. Uh, what do you think, guys? Be honest. Are they sweet? I think they're sweet. Anyway, as always, I hope you find... All the miniatures of your dreams while you're awake. And always remember, if you don't, don't blame me.